I know I'm basic. <laughs> My YouTube crush is... This video was sponsored by, you guessed it, Squarespace. Oh. Hello, Wobbly Boys. Welcome to today's video where I'll be talking. <laughs> it has been a hot minute since I've done a Q&A. Roughly around two years ago when I started the channel, I think. Since I pretty much started YouTube when I did the last video, I was a bit quiet and shy. Let's take this to the extreme. So I got under the table with my crayons and began to draw. So this is it. It's a masterpiece. But over the past two years, I feel like I've been more comfortable with talking into the mic now. <laughs> So hopefully this one is more entertaining. I asked you guys for some questions exclusively on my Instagram. So if you'd like to follow my Instagram, it's jellyjessyt or it will be in the description. I plan on doing more interactive videos with you guys in the future. So if you're interested in that, follow and stay tuned. Let's get into it, shall we? What is your favorite TV show? To be honest, it's probably still Bob's Burgers because I just love all the characters and it's really funny. <laughs> what is your favorite cereal? <laughs> um, oh, I know I'm basic, but I really like Cheerios. Ooh, you suck. All my friends question me about this. Um, I'm sorry I'm bland, but I am also a big fan of Milo cereal. It is so much better than Cocoa Pops. Don't at me. We don't want some cereal beef. <laughs> Who cares for cereal beef? I also really liked Nutrigrain when I was a lot younger. I probably had it for like 10 years. Um, I wasn't becoming an Iron Man or anything. I just really liked it. <laughs> cereal beef! Ugh. Let's start some cereal beef in the comments, please. Would you get any more piercings? Uh, I'm not too sure. In case you missed it, I did a video about my first ever piercing experience when I got my industrial. I love it. No one asked. <laughs> I love it and it's actually healing quite well. So I'm not too sure if I want to get another piercing in the future. I would have no idea what I want. Um, I definitely wouldn't want like any sort of piercings other than on the ears for sure. What's your favorite type of juice? It's definitely not Juicica. <laughs> Orange juice would probably have to be my safe option. I don't really drink juice as much as what I used to, but I'll drink any type of juice, really. I've kind of turned more into the smoothie type of girl, which is kind of weird because I used to hate smoothies. What's your favorite Australian animal? Tasmanian devils are my favorite animal in general, so I'd have to go with that, but wombats are very cute. What countries have you been to and what was your fave? Not including Australia. I've only ever been to England and France, but I'd probably say that England was better just overall. It was a lot nicer and I just loved all the touristy things there. But Paris did have a good Disneyland. Can we get a video of your older drawings? Love your vids. Thanks. Glad you like them. I did these drawings when I was around seven or eight. So we've got this bug saying I'm hungry, but forgot how to spell hungry. We got this random dude on the side, a little tea alien mouse we've got elvis uh, -huh. uh some guy with some green hair pink face i uh, got some more random things a dog farting classic we got some weird looking fingers pac-man eating someone that's kind of cool now we got my fairy phase look at all these disturbing fairies Especially the leg on that one. Oh my god. <laughs> also got some random animals because I loved animals. Apparently I loved worms too. Uh, this is even older. I was like four or five at this point when I did this. I made a little My Little Pony book um, with the computer game. So here's my first ever digital art. And I can't hold the paper. <laughs> it was really windy recording this. So I've just got some random art. This is a very old game by the way. Um, oh, I even got some dates. I had a pony called Snowy in November 2005. Some of you guys probably weren't even born then. Um, we've got some great details of this game. The little frog in the kennel. Oh, we got another 2005. This game was really easy too, by the way. Okay, quick flex. Just got some more work. Um, I really loved this game. What type of person were you in school? Okay, so I'm gonna ring my friend Shannon. She was only with me in primary school, so we're just gonna see what she says. <laughs> Hello. Hello? Are you there? Hello. Hello. Yeah. 
Um, I've just got Hello? a question. What type of person was I in school? Uh, type of person? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you were with me with all of it, pretty much. I know. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. You're fun. I don't know, like, what else... What's the unknown? <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. Thank you for your input. <laughs> Hi. Hello. How are you going? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thanks. <laughs> you you good? Oh, <laughs> I've just got a question. Yeah, hit it, Frankie. <laughs> what type uh-huh. of person was I during school? Quiet. Really nice. Um, we're pretty caring. I mean, like, you chased me around the school when I was crying around, you know? I don't know why, but you just chased me around. <laughs> You're just really caring and nice. Shannon only said fun. Fun? <laughs> yeah, she, it took her two minutes to be like, fun? <laughs> fun? Fun? Question mark? Yo. Yo, I've got a question for you. Yeah. It's a bit random, okay? Yeah. Uh, what type of person was I during school? <laughs> I am not putting that in a video. <laughs> Why? At the start, you were kind of quiet, but like, you kind of went the opposite direction towards the end of year 12. Like, you were really open at the end of year 12. There you have it. Do you have merch? I've got merch over on my Crowdmade store and I've actually just released three new items as part of a mini summer campaign. So there's this water bottle to keep you hydrated, a cap to keep the sun of you and a handy little tote bag. So if you'd like to support me and the channel, the link will be in the description. What's your opinion on spicy mayo? Sorry if it's too personal. Oh my God, why would you ask that? I'm sorry, this is too personal. Like. Do you own any gaming consoles and what are your favorite games on it? These days, I mainly just play my Switch Lite and these are the games that I really like to play. There's also a lot I've got on the eStore, so they definitely keep me busy. I also have an Xbox One and these games are also great. And I only just finished Crash 4. It killed me, but it was fun. What is your experience with cooking? All throughout school, I did cooking classes and I really enjoyed that. And in my senior years of school, I actually worked as a baker assistant, which was really fun as well. I was actually planning once I leave school to be a baker. That didn't work out. <laughs> I also really, really love cake decorating and here are some of the cakes I've done. Favorite comics? Um, I haven't really read much, but I do plan on reading Assassination Classroom and also Death Note and hopefully the Umbrella Academy. What's your favorite flavor of jelly? Probably grape. Places you want to visit someday? America would be great to go to, but uh, that might be a while, so. <laughs> in the meantime though, in Australia, I would love to go see the Great Barrier Reef. Ever did any sports other than swimming, lol? <laughs> Look, I get it, I'm not a good swimmer. I'm not David Swimmer. I think I did mention in the last one, I used to play soccer and I wasn't good at it, but recently I got conned into joining a soccer team and I realized how unfit I am. Hopefully I'm gonna change that. <laughs> Any siblings? I have two older brothers. What's one of your favorite foods? Okay, so I have a confession. I really like cheese, like camembert cheese. Oh, that's so good. So like if you get like a little bit of camembert cheese and a Ritz cracker, not Jats, Jats are too dry, but a Ritz cracker, that's good. That's some good stuff. Do you like slash watch anime? Yes, I do like watching anime. The ones I like or have watched recently would be The Promised Neverland, Erased. Um, I still haven't finished One Piece like last time, like two years ago. I also really liked Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer, Fruits Basket, and there's a bunch of others that I have forgotten. <laughs> What is a show that you would say inspired you throughout your lifetime? That is a really, really hard question. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm probably gonna say just one of my favorite movies would be Treasure Planet. There's definitely a lot of life lessons in that one. You got the makings of greatness in you, but you gotta take the helm and charge your own course. SpongeBob is pretty relatable too. <laughs> How did you discover your passion for art? Love your videos. 
thank you and probably through my brother because we used to draw a lot together throughout our childhood. My nan was also a really good artist and I've always been surrounded by her paintings as well as her creativity as well. How is Australia doing after all those fires? Everybody knows about how devastating those fires were but since then it has been raining non-stop. Like I have never seen so much rain in my life so it's probably a really really good thing and I think a lot of things are growing back normal and definitely around where I live the ground isn't dirt. I can actually see green grass. How long on average does it take to finish a video? Honestly, it really depends on the video itself and also whatever else is happening in my life, whether it's work or studying, etc. I don't know. But it usually takes a month from start to finish. It has been pretty good recently where I have more than one video in the works at a time and this allows me to post more frequently. What's your favorite video you've made? I really did enjoy making the marrying online video. Are you left-handed or right-handed? I'm a little bit of both. If not for YouTube, what would you be doing now? Okay, so if it wasn't for YouTube right now, I would probably be training as a dog groomer. Bit random, I know. <laughs> I actually got an interview for this job and they really liked all my animal experience and were keen to take me on as soon as they can if I wanted to. But I ended up saying no. <laughs> I ended up turning down a job because of YouTube. Favorite artist? In the YouTube world, I really like the styles of Illymation, Ginger Pale, Rush Light Invader. There's definitely a lot of others I'm forgetting. But as an artist I learned in school, I really liked Van Gogh's stuff and also Banksy. Expose who your YouTube crush is! Oh, here we go. Oh my god. This is gonna be really hard to say. Um, my YouTube crush is... Bird. Do you have any pets? What are they? Unfortunately, I still don't have a pet, but I'm definitely going to get a chihuahua someday and you guys will all know about it, trust me. Tips on beginning animation? YouTube tutorials will be your best friend. You can literally learn everything without a teacher. Jazz's earlier tutorials and a smaller creator called Hexjibber are a good way to start. Your laugh is cute. Did you know that? <laughs> How long do you think it will take before you'll get recognized for the first time? By voice or face? Obviously, if I put my face out there, there's a bigger chance of me getting recognized. But my voice, I feel like I kind of just blend in with everyone because pretty average voice. I also have a pretty small Australian audience compared to my American audience. I don't think I've answered the question, but basically, it's probably gonna be a while until someone recognizes me, if that's ever even the case. Name as many ways to make art as you can. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Acrylic paint, oil paint, watercolor, um, sculpting, clay, resin, candle making, um, dot painting, <laughs> finger painting, um, yeah, that, that's all I got. <laughs> How many was that? And now for a brief moment, Mini Clay Jess is back to let you all know about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an amazing platform for building your own website and solidifying your personal brand. I'm sure you guys know now that I've made my own website called The Wobble Dot Club, and I'm currently still using it as a digital sketchbook to show you guys how my videos go from idea to draft, then finally a finished product. I've actually added another entire animatic over there though, so it's worth another look if you're interested in creating this type of content and want a behind the scenes look. To make this, I used Squarespace's video block integrations, which for someone who makes mostly video content is a lifesaver. Then just as easily, I was able to place the image grids in the layout that best suited the page. And once again, I made sure all my social media platforms were connected with these cute little icons, which was so easy to do. One other thing Squarespace does really well is eliminating the complicated domain linking process. Instead of going to a third party service and jumping through all those hoops, you can simply search for a domain, make the purchase and apply it to your site all from within the Squarespace platform. To get started with your own website, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. Then when you're ready to launch, you can visit squarespace.com slash jess to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Back to the video. Quick fire round! 
How old are you? 20. Where do you live? Australia. Face reveal, bestie? Not yet. <laughs> Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. Tree emoji. Um. Do you still have the underwear you peed in? Ah! Bananas? Thoughts? Personally, they're disgusting. I 100% agree with you. Hi. Hi. Do you like frogs? I don't know how people can hate frogs. They're adorable. Can you make this one last, please? Nope. Do you have a goal for YouTube? If so, what is that goal? To continually create videos I enjoy making. That's probably a good time to end today's Q&A. Thank you all for all the questions on Instagram. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about me and stay tuned for future videos because, oh boy, I have so many good plans. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. See you later, wobbly boys. Wobbly boys. I'm done.